right, so here is the video to show you how to build your own grammar or scenario or whatever you want to call it with the mod I've made uh, in Creation Kit called Social NPCs. So uh, Creation Kit is a free tool that you can use to make mods or edit mods. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is to load up the actual mod. To do that you need to open here in the file and open the main Skyrim file. One. I also click on that just, just because. And then you need to load up the CIF RPG PSP. This is the name of the mod. You need to set it on, as an active file. And then you need to click OK. And it will start loading up. So there might be some warnings. You just say yes to all. Okay, so the process is quite simple. You can actually look at some characters to take inspiration. Uh, so here is the uh, Honeymoon Midori. I won't load it up in a random window, no, I don't think it's needed. But you can actually f search for uh, some uh, some of the actors that are there. I already know their names, but for example, if you how they're called. So there's NPC1. NPC1, so you can find the names here, and you can come here to the actor window and find them. So NPC1 is Sophia, I just named NPC1 because I was testing at the time. And so it will probably load up for you like this. And you, if you can actually click here the preview, it will show up how she looks like. Oh, how she looks like. So um, the one thing that separates this from other NPCs is that, is that there are these two um, scripts. So if you want to create a new character, I will explain it later, but uh, in the video, uh, but you just need these two scripts and they don't have any properties because you don't need them. And the other thing that you have to do is the keywords. So this keyword is is the most important keyword because they won't they won't talk or interact if this if this doesn't exist. And this is just a trait. So because she's attractive, all others want to want to flirt with her and want to make romantic actions. So you, you can actually change this and edit or delete them, but if you just search for CIF, CIF, you can see the list of traits available. So my plan is to, in the future, uh, add some of them. So this is one of the characters I've made. Um, if you want to change the scenario, the current scenarios, you can change this, so you can delete attractives and add others. And when you reload the save, and when you enter Honeybrew, for the first time, it will uh, change the goals from all other NPCs. So now to create another character, I've added, uh, this is uh, the NPCs I've been testing with. So you can actually just uh, duplicate, like uh, this one maybe, uh, because they already have the, the scripts and they already have the keywords uh, properly. So if you want to create a new character, I'll, I'll just du du duplicate this one and you can just see how it is. Oh, so it will, this is probably be like this. So what you do, you just add the two scripts that I've mentioned as soon as this loads up. Uh, yeah, so Skyrim is weird with Windows and stuff. So again, if you just go, uh, search for uh, CIF, uh, this other is all uh, mostly test-based. So it's CIF20, and if, when you add another one, it's the CIF initiator rules that determine <coughs> stuff. I will probably remove the others from here when I, when I make it up. But the only thing that we need now is to add the keyword CIF. Oh, uh, it's about the keyword CIF, CIF RPG. This this one m must have it. So, and then you 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 can make things interesting by adding another no other keywords. And so um, I'll just say this one will be friendly, so it will be more likely to talk with others and charming. Maybe. You can you can combine them. You can do whatever you want. So the only thing that you need to verify now. Uh, 
don't know why, I'll just call him that. Uh, so we can actually look preview. Yeah, it's okay. And so you, the only thing you need to make sure is that the voice type is supported. So you can either look to, to the um, voice type supported in the internet, uh, in the mod description, or you can just come here to, to the form lists, because that's how I I filter out the the voice types that I allow. So it's called default Sif voice list. You can actually so it supports this ones. There are twelve of them. I feel like I'm missing some. Okay, All right. it should be fine. So you make sure the voice type is on here, and and you can actually see that the actor we created is a male commander, I think. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, male commander. Here he is. So it should work. So now we just need to put it in the world. I'm going to put in a place where I where I know I'm going to be. Or two. So the banner mare, it's a bar in the white one. So I can quickly go there and yeah, this is loading up here. So yep, yep. So this is the banner mare. You can if you press shift and just move your mouse, you can actually do this circle round. So I'm just going to put this on whatever he wants. So there he is. And you should be able to, if you press E, you can put him lower or up or whatever. And change these things. So you can you can put just one or you can put more and they will probably interact. So there's one more thing that's left to do. So the dialogue you engage with, uh, with each NPC is it's all on a quest, so you need to start that quest when you enter the location where your NPC went to. So the, the player dialogue, it's right here, it's in this quest. So what you need to do is you need to tell Skyrim that when you enter the location where you've put your NPC, in this case it's a white one banner mare, that he must start this quest. So how do you do that? Well, you use SM event nodes. And there's some events here that are interesting. However, we want this one, change location event. So you can double click it. You can see all the quests that start by when you change the location of an event. So you can actually see here some of the nodes. And here is the, here is the social move player dialog. And you can currently see that it's, it's only activated in these two locations. Because I didn't want to put too much stress on the um, on the engine, so what what you do here is like new, and you just just actually you can just duplicate this one, and then instead of being hunting brew misery, you just put you can just search here, and we're on the banner mare location, so this will work and make sure it's an R because you can get any one of this locations and then you just press up the enter because the windows here are dumb and then you save how do we create another actor we just do the same thing i'm just going to literally copy him So now we're going to try to put to mess with some of the uh, characters here in in the in the banner mare. So this is a good one uh, because the voice type is loud. Is one of the loud. So let's let's try to do this. So just make sure you run with uh, the script extender, otherwise it, it won't work. Baby, 
So here I'm going to load up from a clean save just to make sure everything is working. Although it should be fine with other mods as long as it's not. So I'm going to teleport instantly to Whiterun just to make sure everything's working and show you guys what we changed. Uh, so my my computer is not that great, so you can see that, that the quality here is pretty bad. But it should be fine for testing, and I play I play I run Skyrim on my computer, but uh, okay. And with OBS and recording all this, so as soon as we enter, we're going to see if it's working or not. Uh, so first of all, you need to find the NPCs and make sure they're there. So yeah, they're there. Two together, so it's good. And so a good indicator if the mod is working or not is when you talk to them. You can see two options right here. Can I talk to you? And hello, my name is Max B. So if these two are, are, are available, the mod is working. And so as you can see, she almost in instantly went to greet us. So that's cool. And then we're going to see if Michael actually interacts with us and with the others. And it should be fine. So here we go. Is going to greet us. We might think a few times, but we'll come, we'll come here. What? It's a pleasure to meet you. Hello. And so, if the mod bugs or anything else, uh, at, at first wait a bit because the quests at, they have a timer. So, uh, if after a, fir a certain time they nothing happens, they will fail. Another solution to bugs is to just leave the location and then come back because the mod reloads everything. So yeah, thank you all for watching the video and I hope you have fun.